you know, you've spoken about your strength as community as in, in communication. And I'm wondering if you have three concrete tips for others to improve their communication skills based on your experiences as a tarot reader. Okay. One is, I would say read a lot. I know it's often said, but when you read a lot of books, whether it's a fiction book, whether these are articles from the New York Times, um, nonfiction books, you get a, a good sense of uh, language. Um, your vocabulary also increases. Um, the way you put together words to form a sentence can be influenced by people who are good at writing when you read their work. Um, different ways of writing, nice turn of phrases are something you're exposed to also when you read a lot. So that would be my first tip. The second is to find ways to speak a lot. So one thing that I'm, I, I just remembered to mention is that in high school, I was part of the debate team. So it's so... Uh, those hours of practice, those hours of competition, um, where there is that added element of pressure when you're up against other teams and there are points at stake, um, those really helped me. Um, so finding opportunities to, to speak to people um, definitely helps. Um, and then third... I would say to keep a journal. Recently, I talked to another tarot leader. So I also go to other tarot leaders um, sometimes for a tarot reading. If I feel like for some issues I'm, heavy, I'm heavily invested in, I can't be that objective. I, I go to others. And one of the advice he gave me is to, to journal. Um, journal... Journaling helps put you in touch with yourself, with your thoughts, and also gives you um, opportunities to write. So another way to practice communication um, through writing. So those are my those tips. Those are excellent tips, and they're actually tips that I haven't heard yet. So I've, I have had a couple of people on... Uh, these these interviews who have talked about communication skills, these ones have never come up. 